Hey YouTube, this is Prince from Desi Programmer. Welcome back to another exciting Flutter tutorial. And I know it's been a long day and I have not been uploading any video, but now I'm going to make sure that I do this almost every time. But in this video, we are going to talk about a splash screen, material splash screens in Flutter. And let's dive right now into this tutorial and let's see how can we work with that. So as you guys can already see, I have this main.dart file open. I have an app created, I have an emulator running and these are the basics that you can already do. Now this code that I'm going to write will just create a simple app that we can deploy on emulator. So without talking much, I'm going to write the code as soon as possible. Well, as you can see, I have written some basic code and I don't think I need to explain them. Like my void main has a run app and we know this is going to be a stateless widget which returns some material app. I have some theme, title and a home. Now my home is a stateful widget and here I am returning a scaffold with a background color of red and I don't need an app bar so I don't have an app bar. And now let's talk more about this. Now obviously this splash screen will contain two parts. First one is the UI part and the second one is the logical part. A UI part is very easy. You can just create your own UIs and it's very simple. One thing that you have to that I have to mention here is that you don't need an app but that's it. After that you can do almost anything that you want. I just I'm just going to give it a simple text. So I'm going to have a column with a main axis alignment of center and then in the children I'm going to have a row and my row will again have its main axis alignment to center and it will have a children which is going to be a text visit and here I have some simple text which is splash and then screen I think you can see on the screen obviously it doesn't look much exciting so it's time to give it some styling which is going to be some text style and I'm going to provide some particular values like the font size that's going to be like 40.0 then the color which is going to be white then the font weight which is going to be font weight and W800 I know it won't look much good as of now so I'm again going to have one more thing which is the font family and the font family is going to be cursive so we just save it and let's see what do we have like why why isn't it uploading itself okay so we need a comma now as you can see it looks exciting it looks good so this is the UI part you can again make anything that you want right off here like if I don't want this text if I want anything other than this text I can keep another widget which can, which can be an icon which can be an image or anything as such you can even use things like a uh, circular come on it's starting with circular indicator progress indicator and if I give this a background color of white then you can even use this with your text or image you can see that this is a circular indicator now this is all about the UI part I don't want this circular indicator actually I am good with my text so I will go with that this is my text visit and I'm happy with it anyways now let's come to the UI part and what do we want to do with the UI well obviously splash screens can do anything but the logical part is something that you have to understand right here one part of logic says that I want to show this splash screen for some particular time and then load the next screen and the second part is that I want to show this splash screen till something is going in the background like till some images load or till I come to know that a secure internet connection is available just a way if you think about Facebook light then it shows us the Facebook icon till it finds out that an internet connection is available or not but right now I can't show you how 
to move to another screen after this splash screen because we have not yet talked about navigations which we will surely be doing in the next video but let me show you how to work with this splash screen so in this create home page what i have to do is that i have to make sure that as soon as this file main dot dot starts i want to do something for some particular time and to do something for some particular time and not call that function like to do something automatically we use a constructor which is init state in this case so this is an init state which we use and we have to override this method from its parent so i'm saying override and now this init state will take the super dot init state and now here we can do anything what i'm going to do is that first i'm going to print something debug print and i'm saying started the splash screen and then after this i'm going to use a timer now a timer will do something for some particular time so it will it is going to accept for some things like a duration and all which you can see this is a duration and the duration you can give it in days hours microseconds millisecond minutes and seconds i'm going to give this in seconds and so let's say five seconds and then we need to provide this a callback which we don't have as of now so let me code a callback function so let's say void finished and here i'm saying debug print which is going to be finished come on okay and now if it's not going to work as of now because first i have to tell there that this is the callback function that we are calling finished and then you can see that it shows an error actually the timer you is a async method like this timer works in a different thread not in the main thread not in the io thread where our ap application is executing so i have to just say something which is import a shank dot dart so now i have the async library now everything is good to go now if we restart the application then play close attention to the terminal i'm restarting the application and you see as soon as we restart it will sync the files to emulator and now it says started the splash screen and after five five seconds it will say finished okay let's do it again and it says come on started one two three four and five finished so that's how it works we are using the timer and obviously you might be thinking about navigating to different screen after doing this which we will be doing in the next video because then we will know how to work with navigations and how to navigate to different screens in flutter but till then keep learning keep coding peace